All right, as we have been telling you, get ready for a very cold start to the work week, which in fact, Andrew, it's already Monday morning, isn't it? <laughs> it certainly is, and the frigid air has already taken a hold, as you know, Sandra, even before that when it was still Sunday. And we're still seeing those temperatures drop into the middle and low teens now, 16 over at the airport, but it feels like it's around 4, just like Channel 4, with winds that are still pretty strong at around 10 miles per hour, but not as windy as earlier, to, earlier on uh, Sunday. Take a look at your temperature trend, though, over the next four days. Yes, the cold blast is here, but the good news is it's not going to last all week. In fact, by Wednesday, we have see a nice rebound with temperatures above average. First, temperatures way below average. Starting with tonight, tomorrow during the day, a high only of 20, 22 or low 20s on Tuesday. It's not until Wednesday and Thursday where they go above average back into the middle and upper 30s just the way we like it. Right now we're looking at 11 degrees for our friends over in Oxford. Also in Sandusky, it's at 11. Mount Clemens checking in at 15 right now. Make sure you brought the pets back indoors from Ann Arbor, also to Monroe, with temperatures in the middle and low teens as well. Grab an extra blanket as well before going to bed. We're looking at winds, not as strong as earlier, but still having an impact. Winds are blowing at around 5 to 10 miles per hour, making it feel like it's closer to zero or even below zero, depending on where you are. Right now, it feels like minus one in both Flint, also in Lapeer. Three below is what it feels like over in Sandusky, and they'll go down a bit more from here on out. And we're not alone, folks, here in southeast Michigan. It's only nine right now for our friends in Alpena. Friends and relatives in Marquette, minus one is the current temperature. Duluth, Minnesota at minus 13. Single digits in the Twin Cities, and we'll be feeling those by early Tuesday morning. And look at these wind chills. We'll see around minus 10 in some areas around here, but minus 15 already for our friends over in Minneapolis. That cold air is upon much of the Midwest, and it takes hold over the next couple of days before it moves away. Winds coming off of Lake Michigan provide some clouds for tomorrow, especially midday and during the afternoon. This model here, not very aggressive with it, but I would not be surprised to see a few lake-enhanced snowflakes scattered either light snow showers or flurries. Some of that five-minute weather that we're famous for right here in Detroit and southeast Michigan. But the main story is how cold it gets over the next few days. Not so much snowfall because it's not going to amount to much if we see any. We're looking at 12 degrees overnight tonight. Sunrise uh, on your Monday morning is at 8.01. Temperatures uh, rebound, but not very far, up to only around 16 degrees at noon. 20 for the high tomorrow, again with some on and off snowflakes, but on and off periods of sunshine as well. Another cold day on Tuesday with a beginning temperature of 4 degrees or less, a high temperature of 22. Then later this week, temperatures rise once again. Well into the 30s, it looks like, on Wednesday and Thursday, remaining dry. The next chance of any slippery weather, some snow showers late on Friday and into Saturday, Sandra. All right. Thanks so much, Andrew.